Greetings and welcome to my comparison video. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I did a benchmark test with this game using the, the EVGA GTX 680. It was a 2 gigabyte version of the card. And I wanted to compare it to the 960 4 Gaming 4G, which is a 4 gigabyte card. Let's see how much better a 4 gigabyte card is compared to a, a slightly older 2 gigabyte card. The 680 ran on Kepler architecture. And, of course, the 960 runs on the newer Maxwell architecture. So, I don't think NVIDIA TXAA, that type of anti-aliasing, was, it, it was not available with the Kepler. So, let's see how better it, you know... Uh, the FPS and everything. Let's let's see how much I can get out of a four gigabyte card. This is the MSI Gaming 4G. So let's test her out and see how well she does. I think I'm gonna leave it at X2 because if I put it up to X4, I'll start to get in the yellow, and X8 is definitely too high up it, it it's still in the yellow it still works but I think I would get all kinds of choppy FPS if I you, play the game at that level if it's in the yellow I think I want to stay in the green so I'm gonna leave it at X2 cuz that's as good as it gets as far as staying in the green Another thing I should mention is that if you put the texture quality uh, down to like normal, it would give you a lot more video memory to work with. Like when it's at normal, I'm only using uh, slightly over a gigabyte of VRAM. Obviously, texture quality being very high it uses quite a lot of VRAM and that's why it's currently up at 3 gig 3 gigabytes so there you have it let's let's test things as they are now x2 very high texture quality i i think i'm happy with that hopefully i'll get good fps with it Yeah, the 40s isn't so bad. I could live with it being in the 40s and 30s. I suppose I could drop a little quality if I wanted to get better FPS out of it.
there's one thing that I've noticed with this new card. Um, I believe it's due to the Maxwell architecture, but I haven't had I haven't had any game stuttering. It's played so smooth since I got it. I tested it out with Skyrim and I tested it out with this game. And I love how the gameplay is so smooth. You shit! Whereas with the 680, which was running on Kepler, I was kind of running crazy. There you have it. See, I get a, I get a solid 60 FPS when I like look at this wall. If I turn around, I'm in the 40s. Yeah, in the 40s. Pretty much solid 42. 47, 48. Yeah, it it's staying around the 40s. That's not so bad. I I could live with that. I mean, I like I like it to be solid 60, but yeah, 40s not so bad really. And it, if I really wanted to make it solid 60 all the time. I could lower the texture well, quality cool. to, to maybe high. I think just lowering right. it to high would Thanks, buddy. See still you be good enough as far as quality is concerned. I think gameplay is a lot more important to me than the, Yo, dog. you know, quality. I just want the game to run smooth. If it runs smooth, I'm happy. I, I could sacrifice a little quality. You want me to if it meant smooth gameplay. Look at the quality on that. It's so realistic. You can almost read what that says. You know, the black words. I can read fat chips and whipped coconut. Mollus. I wonder what happens if you dial that number. <laughs> You're in for a good time. But anyway, that's it. Um, that's it for the video, I tested out the 680 and this card with the game. Both, both work fine with the game, I mean, this game was created testing NVIDIA cards, so whether you have a 680 or a 960, both will play the game just fine. Just, I, I just wanted 4 gigabytes of VRAM so I'd have a little a little more, you know, boom. I could turn the settings up a little higher. And I think it was worth it. It was worth it for me. Because with the Maxwell architecture, I'm getting such a smooth, smooth game. E even when the FPS drops down, I'm still getting smooth FPS because the Maxwell architecture makes the frames smooth 
it like hides the fact that your FPS is dropping. You certainly don't get stutters and you don't feel it. So yeah, it was worth it to me. Take care everyone. That car is fine as hell. Have a lovely day.